Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the viewers, the subscribers, uh, the world in general. We could use that right now. Today we are going to take a look into Sagittarius's week ahead tarot reading for March 29th through April 4th. In this reading, we're going to tap into the energies with the energy oracle. Then we will get an overview message with the fairy tarot and dive a little bit deeper with a traditional tarot deck. Okay, please keep in mind, guys, the messages here on YouTube are general. They are not going to resonate every time with every person. You are more than welcome to check other signs in your birth chart. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title that resonates, there's most likely something here in the message for you. Okay. I like to say you're going to know if the message is meant for you if you feel it. There's not going to be any questioning, any second guessing. You're going to know it when the message is meant for you. Okay, so just keep that in mind. For more information on how to book a personal reading, the energy cleanse kits that I offer, how to get entered into the drawing we do here every month, for free personal readings, all that other information is linked below in the description box, so kindly check there. And if you would like future messages, you would like to, uh, you like how I vibe, you like how I interpret the cards, you are more than welcome to subscribe. Everyone is always welcome, and it, it helps set your intentions with the channel, okay? So let's get started, Sag. We'll say a blessing, and then we will jump into this reading. Thank you, Spirit, for the opportunity, clairvoyance, and insight to receive these messages. Please allow a clear and concise message to come through to our subscribers. Please protect me, the viewer, and the cards from any negative energies. And again, Spirit, we thank you. Blessed be. All right, Sag, let's get into it. We'll give a couple more, a couple more of these shuffles. Chop it up. See what we can see for you. Seems like there's a situation that you're thinking long and hard about. Okay, let's see what comes out here. Most important message for Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to see here? March 29th through April 4th. So, looks like um, there's a situation that's imbalanced, okay? I feel like there's somebody who is perceiving that things are balanced, that everything is in order, but I feel like there's something being hidden, maybe hidden intentions or um, some secret that they're keeping, okay? I get the sense here, Saj, that you know this though. Um, that could be why you're here. And I feel like there's a need here for communication. Let's get a soul's journey out here to clarify this. I feel like this is a hard pill for you to swallow here. Um, or when this information comes out, it will be anyway. Let's see. All the cards wanted to come out. The card that's coming out is guilt and adversity. So guilt says, I release any belief that no longer assists my soul growth. And adversity says, I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. So obviously, Sag, there's a situation here that is very challenging for you to accept. 
I feel like um, you may have been going back and forth in your head about a situation, okay? And your intuition is telling you one thing, but this person is saying another. I feel like what the cards are saying here is your intuition is right. But we are going to get clarification. Let's see what comes out about these hidden secrets for you, Sag. Most important message here for Sagittarius. What is going to be revealed this week? Spirit, please. And thank you. I do feel like there is the sense of withholding. I feel a knot in my throat. Like, let me get a drink here. My throat chakra. I feel like there's a definite need here for communication. <clears throat> Maybe this person blocked you or you blocked them. This could go either way here, Sag. So let's see here. First card out is temperance. This is your energy. Um, in this deck, it's balance. Take everyone's input into consideration. Merge viewpoints to create a better solution. Take your own. Take your time. There's no need to rush. This card talks about balance. It talks about hope, healing, okay? The Prince of Spring is the Knight of Wands. This card says immediate action, a challenge you can successfully manage, a passionate relationship. A lot of times this is the player player card in tarot. Okay, this is a person who's very flighty, in and out, um, uncertain about the direction that they're taking with you, but with themselves in general, okay? Two of Spring, this is the Two of Wands. This says a bright future manifested through hard work and creativity. Partnering with others who share your dreams. Great progress being made, okay? I feel like there's a, there's a crossroad. This is what this is symbolizing. There's going to, there's a need here or going to be a need here to make a decision, okay? Then we have the Three of Winter, which is the Three of Swords. Reach out to others for comfort and love. You will grow stronger from the situation. Sadness that will heal with time. So what I feel like here, Sag, is you are requesting balance, okay? That's the overview message here. What's working in your favor is this person is uncertain on what they want. And I know that sounds funny that that's working in your favor. But I feel like the reason why is because there's going to be better opportunities ahead. Um, and I feel like there may even be somebody who you have in mind that may be friends or an ex-partner. I do feel like this is hard for you to move away from this person and I do get the sense that this is a relationship reading coming out or geared towards a relationship a lot of sadness a lot of heartache okay five of cups trust that there is a reason for everything that happens remove yourself from the negative emotions of others focusing on which frightens you or worries you so the five of cups is a card that talks about sadness it talks about focusing too much on the past and missing opportunities moving forward because of it there's a need here Sag to feel these feelings so you can heal it and move forward I feel like you have an abundant opportunity that's coming your way. 
but in order for this to come in, in order for this person, and I feel like it could very well be an earth sign, um, because we have the Prince of Autumn. This is the Knight of Pentacles. This is a very slow and steady, very cautious energy. So release. This is the Death card. This is Scorpionic energy. This card says, let go of the past. An ending that makes way for new opportunities. Time to move on. And the Prince of Autumn. Caution, but wise, cautious, but wise action. Meticulous attention to details. Kindness to others. I feel like what the, what these cards are saying here, Sag, is you are releasing this person. Okay, I feel like you know that this deception is taking place. I feel like you're making this decision to move forward from this connection, even though it is painful. I feel like there may be somebody in the wings who you have been talking to or have had your eye on or maybe had their eye on you that may come forward. This is going to be a connection that's more dependable, more they're going to be more protective over you, uh, maybe more gentleman-like, chivalrous, you know, uh, open the doors for you, that type of thing. But always understand here, Sag, that slow and steady wins the race, and you still need to heal from this past connection before you can cultivate anything new. Okay, so taking some time to grieve this past person is going to be pertinent in the movement forward. Okay, so let's get into this. The first card out here is the Hermit. This card talks about taking the time, okay? Going within and healing from the situation. There is a lot of sadness that you are experiencing or will experience whatever part of the timeline you're on right now. But I feel like you may, you may ignore opportunities because of the separate, because you may feel like you're still connected to this person, but I feel like this person has other intentions here, Satch. Okay with the Two of Cups in reverse, the Five of Wands, okay? Five of Wands talks about competition, talks about, um, I mean, just look in the card, okay? It looks like a whole bunch of people are fighting over the same thing, which is probably something really small with all those big wands, feel like once you do decide to walk away from this connection though, Sag, even though it has been a difficult choice to make, you have learned a lot from this connection. I feel like by moving forward, you're also learning a lot about yourself as well. Okay. I feel like you're still kind of weighing the pros and cons. That's what this is symbolizing. But there is going to be a need here. Okay. If you want... If you want that happy family connection, okay, if you want that Ten of Cups connection, you're going to have to choose yourself. You're going to have to stand your ground. And I feel like you're going to have to um, focus on what it is that you want out of the situation, okay? There's a need here to clear the confusion however however that's going to resonate so maybe you're going to have to um get clear within yourself you know take some time to gain some clarity within yourself on the direction that you want to go maybe um you have options as well Saj 
and you're going to need to make a decision if you if you want your person to be open and honest or release certain connections then you may have to release certain connection as connections as well i do feel like this is something that you guys may have a conversation about if you do or don't there is a need here for communication right we were talking about that in the beginning the throat chakra Hard, it's a hard call to make, okay, because I feel like in the past this person may have been very flighty and I feel like this probably has happened more than once. So now you're probably in this state of mind, Sag, like how many times am I going to forgive you, right? How many more times is this going to happen? There is a lot of passion that I feel within this connection, but I feel like this this may be as far as it goes, okay? Because we have the Ace of Wands, but we also have the Strength card here. So you can take this. Um, I take this as acceptance that this is a very passionate connection, but maybe intimacy as, is as far as it goes. Once, once intimacy isn't there, this person may be gone. Um, maybe they have a sex addiction or something like that, you know, where they, it's hard for them to connect on a deeper level. And that may be something that they have to work on themselves. However, I do feel like there is a need here for acceptance of that, that right now this is kind of like as deep as it gets. And... You're going to have to decide, you know, are you going to wait for this person to come around and how long are you going to wait? A time limit is going to be pertinent or if you feel like you've waited, waited long enough, it's time to make an exit strategy. So let's get some clarification. I just feel like you're going to be walking away from this connection. I feel like that's the decision you're going to make here, but let's see. I feel like the hidden secrets that are going to be revealed is they're still doing the same old thing. They haven't changed. Mm-hmm. Making a plan. I feel like this is going to end. I feel like this news is going to be shocking. You may have thought this person was changing. Um, maybe they walk away or, you know, cause some stagnancy here. And you're like, not this again, you know? Why are you doing this again? I feel like it's time to just focus on yourself. Um, stand your ground. The Empress could talk about pregnancy. Um, for some of you, that could very well be play a part. But ultimately, this card talks about self-care and self-love. Okay? Uh, focusing on self. Okay? Releasing this toxic, toxic energy. Toxicity. Right? Um, I do feel like there is some deception here. There is some holding back, and I feel like it's an ongoing thing. I also feel here, Sag, that this person has a lot of changes that they need to make, and either they're not aware of these changes, or they're just not ready, not willing, don't know how, but I feel like they're kind of stagnant in their own right. So it may be hard for them to move forward. Let's get a few cards here for the advice. For Sagittarius Spirit, what is the advice moving forward? Please and thank you.
Okay. Well, there's four cards that came out, so we're going to take them. Okay. I feel like, first of all, this is going to be very hard. Okay. I feel like it's going to take a lot for you to move away from this connection. There is some deception. They are, I feel like, sneaking around behind your back. And they may very well, um, whenever you cause a ruckus or bring this up to them, they may cool their stuff for a little bit, but then it's always back to the same old stuff. And I feel like even though you have put a lot of time and effort, you're starting to realize that this isn't going to work for long term. But I also feel here, Sag, that you are, aren't really seeing any changes. And so it's hard for you to want to continue something that's stagnant. I feel like Sagittarian energy is all about um, moving forward and upgrading and elevating. And this person, I feel like they've gone back to their same old stuff or maybe they've never changed. They just got better at hiding it. So Saj, I feel like what the advice here is saying is you're going to have to do what's best for you. Whatever that is, whatever that means to you. Okay. So Saj, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I am going to pull a Power Thought card. I'll also do an extended version to this reading. In the extended, we're going to take a look at, um, we'll take a look a little bit deeper, look into this person's intentions. We'll take a look at what are the next steps and where this is headed. I'll pull out the guidance cards. We'll pull out the soul truth. Try to see what type of lesson there was to be learned in all this. If that's something you're interested in, the link is below. The second link is for the monthly subscription, which it's $14 for the month. It gives you access to all of the extended readings. So if that's something you're interested in, check it out. Power thought card for you, Sagittarius, is freedom is my divine right. I am free to think wonderful thoughts. I move beyond past limitations into freedom. And I am now becoming all that I am created to be. Freedom is my divine right. Beautiful. So, Saj, that is the message I have coming out for you guys for this week. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support, for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.